Hello everyone and welcome back to this video. For quite some time I have stopped paying for Red Giant, especially Universe that I was using quite a lot on Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. And then I reached out to Toco Graphics and I got this really, really nice new plugin for you to take a look that we are going to go together. That is quite exciting because it saves me a lot of time and it has been a really integral part of my latest tutorials. I do have the disclosure here that this is a paid partnership. And the reason why I'm bringing this video to you is because I do believe that this is a really interesting product with a bunch of good benefits, especially for the price. So there's a few things that, in my view, we need to take into account whenever we are reviewing and seeing the benefits of a product that we are bringing into our pipeline. Either if it's a new add-on for Blender, if, an, if it's a new plugin for After Effects, or if it's a new plugin for DaVinci Resolve, presets, whatever it is, there's a four things that I'm always taking into account whenever I'm deciding not only to buy, but more than that, to invest my time to learn to fully understand the plugin that I'm using, the software that I'm using, to bring into my pipeline. So the first thing is, of course, the price. So if we look here, or this plugin that I received from Toco Graphics, it's basically $16.99. They have some different types of licenses that you can get, but if you're just like me and you're creating your graphics, you can just go for the regular license and you'll be fully covered and you can use as much as you want. So that's great. For this price, you know, it's a one-time payment. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You do get a lot of things. And when I tell you a lot, it's actually a lot of different things that you can bring to your projects. I'm gonna come back to that in the computer later. But for now, my favorite is definitely the glitch, not only the glitch effects, but also the glitch overlays. I do find that quite useful and I can use both on the Vinci Resolve and also on After Effects. This version of the software or the plugin that I have here is for the Vinci Resolve, but I do still use the sound effects and the glitches on After Effects. That's my favorite place to use those. Then the second one is of course the quality. It doesn't matter if you do get a lot of different things uh, to play around, like for example in Universe, if the quality of the things that you have there are mostly not useful and you end up not using at all. That unfortunately was one of the reasons that I did decide to cancel some of the subscriptions that I had is because I was just using one or two things maximum and paying every month for it. For That for me was a big no-go. And on top of that, also this like monthly prices on top of my current packages, softwares that I'm using, I also think it's a big no-no for me. So for this case, in this plugin, I do believe that the quality is quite nice, especially taking into account how responsive all the presets are. But we get back to that. So here quality also, I think it's a big plus. And then in terms of improving my workflow, what do I mean by that? When I'm talking about improving my workflow, it means that is this plugin getting in the way of me finishing my project and delivering my project in the quality that I want, or it's adding to my workflow. So for example, some plugins you might have to open a folder, go there, scroll, try to find what you want to use, and then you push to your timeline, you test, it doesn't work, then you try to optimize, you try to customize, it doesn't work that well, then you go for another one, you bring, in the end, you just don't use anything or you repeat and use the same thing over and over, which is fine, of course, if that's what you want. But if you are investing in a new software, investing in a new plugin, I do believe that you need to take into account if this is adding to your workflow or this is taking out of your workflow. In this case, this plugin, at least on the Vinci Resolve, which is the version that I'm using, it's super easy to see. It's super smooth to bring your effects to the timeline. Some plugins, especially on After Effects, tends to be quite heavy and makes your computer um, lag quite a lot. But this one, the Vinci Resolve, super, super smooth. So that's also a thumbs up for me. There's just two things that I'll mention here when I'm talking about the installation. 
they were a bit troublesome, but we'll get over that. But luckily, this is only when installing the plugin. And then the last part is the limitations. So I bought a lot of different plugins. And as soon as I updated my version of their facts or the technical uh, needs for the projects also changed. For example, I used to edit a lot when we were still mainly using 1080p or full HD footage. And then now that I edit in 5K and 6K, most of the things that I bought in the past just doesn't work. And this is great for this plugin because everything adapts to the size. So you have vertical videos, it adapts. You have horizontal videos, it adapts to that. So that's really, really nice. And for me, this is one of the main benefits that I saw on this plugin itself. It's because everything is super customizable. The time that you have for the whole effect, the size of your timeline, everything is super, not only super easy to do, but it is customizable. So in general, those are the things that I'm looking at when I'm choosing something that I'm adding to my pipeline. I do believe that there's a lot of quality, there's a lot of great things that you get out of this plugin, but in the end, it's up to you in terms of, do you have the budget to invest on that? Do you prefer to have other plugins that might bring different things that you need for different scenarios? This is more if you have a lot of uh, video editing projects, if you have uh, your own channel, if you don't want to create your graphs from zero, and you also have the ability to customize them and use for different platforms. So I post a lot on TikTok, on Instagram, here on YouTube, but also on Shorts and regular videos and also on Twitter. So I do want to have the flexibility of just drag and drop everything. Don't worry about sizing, don't worry about customizing everything for every single thing, for every single channel. So. On my case, this is a really useful plugin, but now let's see what we can do. Right, so let's first start by talking about the installation process. And here I have this folder that comes with uh, the plugin here on my assets folder saved. And then the installation is quite straightforward. You just have to run the .x on PC or .pkg on Mac. And it also works on tablet, meaning your iPad, which is really, really nice, actually. Um, but then after you install that, you do have this quite troublesome step of downloading and installing fonts. So you have a Redmi dock where it's going to point out to where you download these free versions of the fonts that we are using in the plugin. You do need to do that before you start using the plugin. If you don't do that, everything that you have here, all these presets that you have, they are not going to work, okay? So make sure to download everything. This indeed is the most annoying part of the whole process of using the plugin, but luckily you just do it once you get rid of that and you don't need to worry about this anymore, okay? And then you also have two packs here that I'm tending to use quite a lot, actually, for projects on After Effects and Premiere Pro. This version of the plugin is for DaVinci Resolve, but I do like to use here the glitch effects in my After Effects composition. I'm gonna put uh, right now a example. <laughs> So you see that you can use uh, this on everything that you create, especially VFX, so I find that quite useful. Have some with colors and some monochrome, have elements, and also have overlays. So those are actually quite nice. Let me just quickly open one for you to see. You see here, this is really, really cool. You can use for transitions, for effects. Doesn't matter what it is, you can come up with something really, really nice. And also we have this sound effects one. This is also really cool, really high quality a bunch of sound effects. And if you want, you can just pause here and see what is the sound effects that you do receive. So impact, stamp, sub drop, nature, rock, simple drop, and also sound effects for transitions. So camera transitions and flat transitions. So really cool. Let's come here on the Vinci Resolve and let's just quickly take a look at a few of the templates that we receive. Of course, I'm not going to go on each and single one of those because this video will be super boring and super annoying. But I'm basically going to tell you how I would use those and how easy it is to implement those. So you see here we have typographic type of effects. So are this one here and you see how fast it is this preview. It's amazing, really. It's really, really nice. 
So this mainly on start and end of my videos, I'll use something like this. Uh, also chapters, if I'm creating something related to chapters, or if I'm also creating some uh, um, ads, but that is more for my, my main work and not for uh, things related to auto visual. So that's quite nice. Backgrounds you can also use. I don't tend to use that quite a lot, but you see here that you have a bunch of different options that you can use uh, for your videos. Not my favorite, to be honest, but uh, for some people that do enjoy having this, let's say on the beginning of a live stream, you just push this background with text on top, that can look quite nice. Social media, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to implement this more and more on my videos and you can see in the latest one that I've been publishing that you do see quite a lot of this. This is super easy. You just come, push, drag and drop. You have the animation that starts and also you can push like this and it's not going to affect the intro and the outro of the animation. You can make it as long as you want. So that's super, super nice. Let's come here. We have a few titles. I don't tend to use those quite a lot. Also, I see them similar to typography, but of course you can use your own background. Similar thing with lower thirds. This is more useful for me whenever I'm going to talk about specific subject on my videos. I just drag and drop here. Customization is quite fast. You just come here, you change, lower thirds, edit color, extra controls. So basically you have everything here, which is quite nice. Then the big titles, also similar, so connected titles. All of this, I tend to put them in the same category of improving uh, the quality of your presentation, okay? So this is to inform your viewers, is to break a little bit between videos, between changes in the scenery, so quite nice to have. Then we have some shape elements. This, we have a bunch of uh, different divisions here into shape lines, basic lines, interface icons, and wider icons. I do like these interface icons here. They're quite nice, especially when I'm doing creating ads for my main, main job as a marketeer. But uh, for my videos, I don't use that quite as much. But then when I'm creating ads and things like that, I do tend to use them. Okay, so now we come here to interface items. This is also really, really cool. A little bit similar to the social media ones. I tend to use more for ads also. Um, but yeah, you can just play around and see. There's a bunch of options. We have a bunch of gradients similar to the background ones. Call out. This is actually one of my favorites also that you can just bring here. And for example, I want to show this graph here and say that oh okay this is a video video tool that i'm using for color grading and then i can just have this call out showing up here and you see just to change and move around it's quite simple here on the vinch resolve you just click here and then you can move around make it bigger uh, rotate and do all sorts of stuff and everything is super customizable really responsive and super fast as you can see this one, again, a, a little bit more like if you need an infographic, use this. I don't tend to use quite a lot. I don't do infographics that much. So not really useful for me. Messages one, this is also really, really nice, especially to create some uh, extra effects on your video. I use this quite a lot on a secondary channel that I have. Um, so quite interesting to have. This one device is also a, a bit specific if you are creating visuals, ads, showing a phone that you want to put on your ad, or you are promoting something specific that you have for your channel. Just use this, it's quite nice and easy to go. And then logo reviews, also really cool. For example, on my channel, I don't use a logo. Okay, so I don't have that. I don't use this one quite a lot, but you do see here that we have around 34 options for this. If you're a graphic designer and you want to show off the logo that you just created, you can also use this logo reviews, but in your channel in general, you can use this. So I would say um, this package is kind of like a mix of someone that is either a YouTuber or works editing videos and wants to create videos for social media. That makes things super, super fast. And also for me, in my case, like I told you before, most of my work, that I do here on YouTube is for VFX and for 3D and also to create my tutorials. So for tutorials, everything that we have here is amazing, saves me a bunch of time for editing. For my VFX work, I'm using the sound effects pack and also the glitch overlays quite a lot. 
And the customization is something that really, really uh, important for me and make me decided to keep using this plugin even after creating this video and doing the paid promotion that I discussed with you in the beginning because, you know, it's just like drag and drop. Super fast. Everything is here.